So here I've got my document and I'm going to be running an inspection to check a few things. So in order for us to do this, we're going to go up to the file button. We're then going to go to info. And on the left hand side, you can see I've got my section that says inspect document. Now it mentions a few things that we can have a look at. Um, and already it's raised some issues here, but we're going to click on check for issues. And I've got three options. I can inspect the document. I can check the accessibility in terms of people with disabilities actually using or reading um, or interacting with my document. And then also for compatibility issues. So let's go with inspect document. And here I have a number of issues. And again, it's going to depend on what you are looking for. In this case, I'm looking for hidden metadata, such as personal information within the document and also for hidden text. I click inspect and it shows me that there's no hidden text found. However, there is some metadata and I want to remove that. Once I've done that, I click reinspect and I inspect it again just to make sure that everything has, you know, been taken care of. And I can click close. The next thing I'm going to check is accessibility. So as you can see immediately, this takes me back to my document and it tells me there are some issues. For example, there's missing alternative text and there's two um, items uh, that we need to go and change. So picture two, and you can see when I click on it, it takes me to it. It even gives me the instructions of how to do it. So I'm going to go and do that. Go to alt text and you can see, watch this. As I type in, I've now done what is needed to be done. So that goes away. When I go to my table and they want me to specify the row header, let me just say repeat row headers here and that goes away. Okay, so as I make those changes, this list will get shorter until it's eventually just blank. And so the last one I'm going to check is the compatibility. And when I click on this, this just helps me to uh, see that the document is actually compatible with previous versions of Word. In this case, there it tells me no compatibility issues. So that should be fine. And I can click OK. And folks, that is how we inspect our documents.